Hello, are you out there? I'm Mark, and this is Homebrew Fever Dreams, and we have DM has decided I'm lying about my roles because I'm a girl and wants to roll for me the rest of the campaign. I am very confused immediately because I see two different types of role. It my voice is cruddy, so sorry, but let's get yeah. Roles is in like role playing, like you're acting, like it's the role your care your the role of a character. Versus roll is in like roll a die or or roll a ball on the ground. Is all right. We'll keep going. I know what you mean. I think everyone. Well, maybe I don't know what you mean. Honestly, let's see what happens. <laughs> Let me start by saying I know it sounds like I'm in the wrong. That he must have a reason to think I'm lying about my roles so I can succeed or something. But I truly have no idea why he even thinks. That I am, because I swear I have never lied about a role before. Am I missing... Is, is, is role plural? No. No, right? It's R-O-L-L-S would be multiple rolls of a die. <laughs> and then roles, R-O-L-E-S, would be the different characters you have portrayed while acting. What? Okay. Let's see here. I, user, life is short like me. Okay, all we really know, all we really know though about that then is that you're you're a child or you're a short person. It doesn't tell us much. Let's continue on. Let's just keep going here. This is okay. I'm a bad speller. It's fine. I barely know words. So basically, I'm the only girl 20F in my current D&D campaign. But I don't really mind or feel uncomfortable about it since all the guys I play with have been nothing but welcoming and chill towards me. They don't ever treat me any differently and are a great group of guys. Cool. My only grievance is that the DM has made comments since I started playing with them about how every female <laughs> he has played with before always lies about their dice rolls so they can impress... Oh, oh wait. We gotta, we gotta get the sock puppet. It sounds like we got a DM on our hands. We got a that guy. So you guys know what that means, don't you? Oh, 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 oh. Hey there, girls. Are you a female? And then, see, <laughs> oh, comb over style. <laughs> That's right. I comb my own hair way over. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Are we are we in the shot? All right. So, um, so they can impress all the guys and look better slash hotter in their eyes, <laughs> which is super weird thing to bring up in my opinion. I just started and had shown no signs of lying about anything, so I was already kind of weirded out that he felt the need to bring it up. But whatever. Is that weird? Yeah. Yeah, why why is that weird? Cuz it's uh it's the definition of prejudice or yeah, I think it is. It's not racism. It's it's prejudice though. The idea that you literally have someone who's saying I don't know you. I had just started and shown no signs of lying about anything else so it was already kind of weirded out that he filled in need to bring it up or whatever. Yeah, so he knows nothing about you. You haven't demonstrated that you're a cheater, but because of your 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 presented gender, he's making assumptions about how you're going to behave. Is that essentially what, what prejudice is? Yeah, that's it. You got it. You nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, he agrees. So I kind of just brushed it off and said I had played before and that I don't fake dice rolls because that ruins the experience. It, is that runes as in like the runic lettering or runes? In like destroyed buildings, which would be the reference here. Like it's a rune, you've ruined the thing. I don't, I don't believe in dictionaries though, so we're not going to look it up. No one can convince me what words mean. Yeah. Um, the experience and the risk of the game in my actions, which ruins the game for me and everyone else. Ruins? DM seems to accept that and let it go at the time. However, I've noticed that at least one per, once per session, you will make some comments somewhere along the lines of females just lie all the time. It's what they're biolo... <laughs> go ahead. 
biologically good at, and they lie. They all lie in games like this to look. Sexy to the men there. Oh, I know what the hottest chicks are the ones that lie when I'm gaming with them. It's so hot. They're just like, all oh, no, my strength is 22. And you're like, really? I thought it was like 13. It's right on your character sheet. I can see. It. No, it's 22. I'm going to cover this with my hand and don't you worry, you malleable male. Oh, man, that's the sexiest female. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's hard to see his facial expressions. I'm not a good puppeteer. Uh, you're shit at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where do we... Uh, okay, no one at the table really responds when he makes these comments. One of the guys tried once early on to mention that that was a sexist and off-topic thing to bring up, but the DM got mad at being cut off from sharing my personal life experiences and knowledge. So no one has spoken up about it since. Oof. This last session was probably the most risky and dangerous situation the party had been in since the start of the campaign. And there were a few times where I had to roll and lives were on the line if I failed. Somehow, I managed to get at least the bare minimum I needed to succeed, needing a 15 or higher in most cases. Since I usually had advantages, everyone else had, was having similar luck, though. So I just was hyped that we were rolling lucky that night. I did also have plenty of horrible rolls. Got two nat ones in a row at one point. Lol. Two. Two is in also. Not two is in two or two is in third two, which I, I can't on, honestly define what that means. So, uh, so it, can you though? Yeah. No. I, no. No. <clears throat> so it wasn't as if I was only rolling successes the whole session, but the DM seemed to be getting frustrated more and more with each successive roll I announced. <laughs> he made a comment and I thought that I thought was a joke at the time. He chuckled and said it was almost like I was faking it to win with how good my luck was. I had been rolling in front of me where everyone could see, though so nothing was hidden. I didn't think that was any concern that I was there was any concern that I was cheating, so I just laughed and said, Yeah, my luck was wild tonight. Then, at the end of the session, the DM said I had one more save roll to get us out of there, avoiding another fight that would probably end badly for us. I needed a nat 20 or I would fail. That seems very, very specific. <laughs> Why even make the roll? I mean, I think we all agree. I mean, this is an absurd story. <laughs> but it's just like, if someone has to roll a die approximately... 20 times to get the outcome you need, don't bother to make the roll. They're going to fail, right? Okay. One of my party members assisted, so I had advantage, but the odds of success were still low. I rolled both dice, and by some miracle, I did it. I rolled a nat 20 on both dice. That's rare. I, I've seen it happen, but that is super rare. Um, it was glorious, and everyone was super hyped. The DM just looked mad, though, and we all joked that he wanted us to fail so we could show off some more characters he made and do more of the fun combat stuff. He kind of chuckled and said it was something to go like that. And said it was something go like that. I, oh, okay. The session then ended calmly with us getting back to our keep and getting set up to rest. Then we called it a night. Everyone packed up and went to our separate ways, assuming that was the end of that night. I got a message about two hours later from the DM, and he was telling me he knows I cheated and lied about my dice rolls to look better in front of the guys, like you do. It's so hot. So hot. Um, he said he was nice enough to not call me out there and embarrass me in front of everyone like he should have, but that he could no longer trust me. He demanded that I give him my dice next session and that from here on out, he will be rolling behind his DM screen for me since I am proving to just to be just like every other... <laughs> You're proving to be just like every other lying female and ruining the game for all the honest guys who are playing with me. I was stunned. <laughs> this is... <laughs> OP... I don't want to say that you're lying here because you're short, as you express in your 
in, in, in your, your username. You could just be a child for all I know. I can only take your word for it that you are, in fact, a 20F, but that could be a lie also. I'm not saying this because you're female. None of it. Because, again, I only believe that you're short. It's just that this story is, is too bad to be true. Right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you, it's a good story, though. So, you know, hey, whether it's true or not, and I'm not saying I don't believe you, again, because I, I don't think that you're female. You might be. I have no reason to believe or disbelieve you. And I'm not calling you a liar, again, because you've expressed that you're 20F. There's no reason to think you're untrustworthy. But this story is just like... <laughs> okay, where are we at? I was stunned. I didn't know what to say. I just told them I had never lied. And then I was sharing dice with one of the guys, so they weren't some weighted set or anything. And that all my roles were in the open where everyone could easily see that I could understand he may have had bad experiences in the past with players, but I had done nothing wrong and would not be letting him roll for my character the rest of the campaign. He has yet to respond, but I am still so out of... Uh, out, off of, and insulted. He has yet to respond, but I am still so out, off, and insulted that he thought I was cheating and lying. I really like the group I play with. And the campaign story is super interesting, so I don't think I'll be quitting, but I certainly am not going to just sit by and not roll ever again, and I don't know what to do in this situation. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay. Um... Geez, I'll be really honest with you. I, I'm. I don't think you should be confused. You need to to bail out of this campaign. I mean, this person is demonstrating super weird behavior. Um, I I would imagine that the the DM here in this case has feelings for you. Quite honestly, no one would assign those sorts of feelings to someone. No one would assign those accusations to someone that they were impassive about. Clearly, the DM is desperately flustered by your 20F-ness at their table. They simply cannot handle it. They are essentially trying to poke at you through this, as opposed to just being a man and having like a, a nice conversation or trying to get to know you, become friends with you. They don't feel that they have the ability to do that or they lack the confidence to form a normal human-to-human -human relationship with you. So they're doing this sort of like poking, jabbing thing. This isn't real. I'm actually surprised the other people in your group tolerate this. I mean, it, it would be very, very much like if someone was making like skin color jokes or religious jokes or accent jokes you know, like just essentially picking at the superficial features of, of a person at the table in the fact that you were at the table with them and they're tolerating this is what that's what's really weird about it. I mean, everyone makes, you know, jokes in poor, poor taste, but not usually at the expense of someone who's sitting right in front of them. So, yeah, you need to bail out of here. There's other tables that are not this way, and this is not a, I don't want to say you're unsafe, but it's certainly unhealthy. The DM through the things you're you're saying that you've assigned to them as saying are super unhealthy. It's not going to end well because again, I I really don't think that the DM is treating you this way because of past experiences. I think the DM is treating you this way very very much because of the internal feelings they're having towards you right now. This is a thing that's happening right now it is raw it is fresh it is real inside of that dm's you know heart mind soul <laughs> they're not oh my ex-girlfriend from eight years ago er, her it's like no 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 this is about you right now guarantee it and you got to think about the idea that i'm going to make your i'm going to make your roles behind the dm screen w whatever else is going on if if you are having issues with the player that's cheating, you boot them from the group. If you don't want to be that hard, you hand them the dice and say, I'm going to need you to roll my dice, because then you know the dice aren't loaded. 
But th then the next stage could be, okay, I'm going to roll the dice for you, but in the open. I'll just, I'm going to make the rolls, we'll all see. But the DM is saying, no, 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 none of that. I'm going to roll your rolls hidden for the very weird and creepy and awful reason that the DM then has complete control of the outcomes as they relate to your character. So that your DM can puppet... Oh, jeez. So <laughs> your DM can... <laughs> work you like a puppet, your character, and 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 vis a vis manipulate manipulate you, the real person at that table. Ooh. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't read these first, but oh that is yeah. He he wants to work your character like a puppet to get at you. I'm gonna sign off there. This is long, but wow. If this is a true story, okay, if it's not a true story, it's a great horror story. You did a great one. I mean, please write more, because these are, that's just like fire. But if it's real, you need to get the heck out of there. It is, it... <laughs> peace out. Thank you, if you watched.